Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. The President started the week in Memphis, meeting with the Mississippi River flood victims, volunteers, and first responders before speaking at the Booker T. Washington High School graduation. The President also delivered a speech on U.S. policy in North Africa and the Middle East as events continue to unfold in that region. And the Situation Room turned 50. That's May 13th to the 19th, or the commencement at Booker T. On Friday, May 13th, the President joined staff and some notable foreign policy experts for the 50th birthday of the Situation Room, a secure area where folks work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to keep the President informed and the country safe. In honor of the occasion, one of the secure conference rooms was named for President John F. Kennedy, the father of the complex. The, the President time, the, the, one of the things the Watch Floor does is they'll create a, a one-page intelligence update for the President, and they do that at 5 o'clock in the morning, noon, and 5 o'clock at night, and it's produced where, depending on where the President is. So if he's on the West Coast, he's good. exactly, regardless of where he is. On Monday, May 16th, President Obama traveled to Memphis, Tennessee, accompanied by some members of the Tennessee Congressional Delegation to deliver commencement remarks at the Booker T. Washington High School graduation. Uh, you guys all set? We're all hooked up? Yes, sir. We're ready to go? Yes, sir. The President was also able to meet with families affected by the flooding Mississippi River and speak to some of the officials and volunteers who responded to the crisis. And as time went on, you started seeing the waters backing up. Mm -hmm. and, the, and we started looking at it and we started seeing fish in areas where it used to be dry land. The President also heard how grateful folks were for the quick response and pre-planning to help mitigate this disaster. There's always a lot of criticism on funds that are spent for emergency preparedness, but let me tell you, if done right, it works and it pays off big time. At the commencement, President Obama caught up with the principal of Booker T. Washington High School, Alicia Kiner. Well, we're so excited by where your school is going. Thank you. You're doing such a good job, Thank so you very much. we want to just keep the momentum going. The two then made a surprise visit to the graduating seniors before the ceremony began. Of you've now become role models for all the young people coming up behind you, uh, you've become an inspiration to the city and the state of Tennessee and the country. So uh, I just want you all to know uh, you inspire me. Booker T. Washington is the winner of the 2011 Race to the Top Commencement Challenge, a competition that the president started last year to highlight public schools and help America reach the president's goal of having the highest proportion of college graduates in the world by 2020. Some people say that schools like BTW just aren't supposed to succeed in America. You'll hear them say the streets are too rough in those neighborhoods. The schools are too broken. The kids don't stand a chance. We are here today because every single one of you stood tall and said, yes, we can. On Tuesday, May 17th, President Obama welcomed King Abdullah II of Jordan to the White House. The two talked about ways to deepen our partnership with Jordan and discussed the latest developments in the Middle East and North Africa, as well as ways to a comprehensive peace in the region. Uh, we discussed the situation in Libya uh, and uh, are grateful for uh, the support of uh, a wide range of Arab countries in our efforts to make sure that uh, humanitarian assistance and humanitarian protection occurs inside of Libya. Uh, we discussed uh, the uh, rapid transformation that's taking place uh, in places like Egypt and Tunisia, and we both agree that it's, it's critical that not only does political reform proceed, but economic reform uh, accompanies uh, those changes there. On Wednesday, May 18th, President Obama, accompanied by Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano, traveled to New London, Connecticut, to speak at the Coast Guard Academy's 130th commencement exercises. The Coast Guard is America's longest continuous maritime service, protecting our coasts and providing crucial services in the times of disasters, like the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. People don't want to hear a long policy speech from me. They want to celebrate the, all these wonderful graduates. After a thorough briefing, the president went to the ceremony where more than 200 junior officers were commissioned with the rank of ensign. They will soon be assigned to boats and ports all across the thousands of miles of American coastline. So cadets, if we remember this, if you stay true to the lessons you've learned here on the Thames, if we hold fast to what keeps us strong and unique among nations, then I am confident that future historians will look back on this moment and say that 
When we faced the test of our time, we stood our watch. We did our duty. We continued our American journey. And we passed our country, safer and stronger, to the next generation. On Thursday, May 19th, the President went to the Benjamin Franklin Auditorium at the State Department headquarters to deliver a speech on the events in the Middle East and North Africa. So we face a historic opportunity. We have the chance to show that America values the dignity of the street vendor in Tunisia more than the raw power of the dictator. There must be no doubt that the United States of America welcomes change that advances self-determination and opportunity. Yes, there will be perils that accompany this moment of promise. But after decades of accepting the world as it is in the region, we have a chance to pursue the world as it should be. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing week. And that took, he took off after that. Oh. He's taking credit for Derrick Rose, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, been taking credit for a lot of that. Hey, yeah, everything starts in Memphis. Everything yeah. starts in Memphis. See, your coming here, as I said, was bigger than Elvis coming back. Well, that, that I'm sure is not true. <laughs> <laughs>